fine dining meal. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Emma in Costa Rica. I hope you're all doing super duper well. We're here again with my favorite girl, Sarah, from the Montoni Adventure. And we are here today. Oh my god, there's a lot of people. <laughs> we are going on an excursion for the first time in months. Yes, like the so last exciting. time I've had a video with Sarah is the last time we've seen each other. Yeah. So we are so excited today. And we're actually close to my brand new apartment. Uh, it's about 10 minutes from Naranjita. We're in Villa Nueva. And we are going to be hanging out on a farm. This is a vanilla farm. It's actually called Villa Vanilla. Villa, Villa Van Vanilla, yes, si. technically Spanish. <laughs> yeah. And Spice Farm. This place has been around for a really long time. I think they have handed over owners or something like that recently. Yeah. So we've yes, been exactly. invited to come and check it out. I mean, yeah, last time we came, well, you were eight. I said yeah. the last time I came, I was like eight too. Exactly, so we haven't been here since we were kids, so they've probably changed a lot. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't remember much anyways. Yeah, me either. <laughs> but I know that we're gonna be checking out the process of vanilla, cinnamon, like the real cinnamon, mm -hmm. uh, pepper. There's a few different things I think they grow here, yes. so we're gonna check that out. And I think there's tastings as well, so that's the best part. Yes. So I think they've actually already started, so we're probably gonna run out now so yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so it turns out that we did not miss our tour we were not late that was another group <laughs> but our group has arrived now <laughs> Uh, we've just been sitting here hanging out in this nice shaded area. There's fresh water to drink. We've got like some interesting tools over there on a table. So I think they're probably going to explain to us what exactly those were used for at some point in time. They look pretty prehistoric. And um, yeah, we're just waiting for the guide. Starting off the walk now. Oh, um, right here. Oh, we're like going right in. Oh, this is a cocoa tree. Cacao. Cacao, yeah. Cocoa tree. Cocoa. Villa Vainilla is about 30 minutes away from Manuel Antonio and is well worth the trip away from the beach. At this farm, we got to experience a variety of flavors ranging from your favorite sweet snacks to the everyday spices you can find in your kitchen pantry. As of right now, we have so far seen cacao and the vanilla beans. The vanilla beans are actually really cool. They look kind of like, almost like a bean, just like a green, well obviously a bean, a green beanstalk. And the guy just mentioned now, Chris, that if you were to eat it right now, it would just taste like grass, like a green plant basically. So it has to go through the curing process to get the flavor. And they take nine months to grow. <laughs> it's crazy. It's understandable why something is like a flavor should be so highly valued. <laughs> Are you learning a lot so far? I am. It's so interesting, the whole history. And Lots cool. of interesting facts for sure. What was the country they said that it came from originally? Um, no. South of Mexico. South of Mexico. Okay. Mm -hmm. Native of South of Mexico. Learning a lot so far, and we've only seen two of their products out of many. Lots more to see. <laughs> Vanilla is the most popular flavoring in the world, guys. So we've been given one of the dry beans to actually everything experience, that, everything that you see that has and it smells so good. And um, we're told not to waste it, so we're going to be using whatever got into our fingers, in all these oils, vanilla, as a perfume. See, but once you get past that slimy texture, guys, you'll be rewarded. Sweet, nice, interesting, it like fruity, a little tart. Mm -hmm. That's cacao. That's cacao. And sweetened oatmeal. Uh, sweetened even bitter oatmeal. Even you order Africa. Mm -hmm. So technically, you're supposed to just eat the flesh. Mm -hmm. But you can eat the beans. Like I said, yeah, guys. Just be bitter. Eat, the, eat, the, um, eat around it. And if anybody feels a little uh, curious, bite into it just to see what and it tastes like. I spit right like through it. <laughs> 
It has like the cacao nibs inside or something like that, right? They will pull by applying a little heat to mm -hmm. it. Uh, they melting on my hand too. No dairy. No dairy. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Are we feeling mm. energized? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So Chris. Yes. I think I almost like Your the flavor of the chocolate better. ice. Okay, so now that we have completely energized ourselves with all this chocolate power, we are starting to do a little hike through. Check out this cute little walkway. So we are making our way to the plantation right now to see more of the spices and more vanilla and cacao. A whole bunch of things. So Exciting stuff. Fresh cardamom, and it actually comes from the little berries that are attached to quote decoration ginger, decorative ginger. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, third most expensive, third most expensive spice in the world. Oh, wow. And it's sweet almost. It's sweet. Usually cardamom has more of like a bitter flavor, but mm -hmm. this one is very sweet. It still has bitter, but saffron, vanilla, not quite cardamom. That as is intense as if it were dry. Spice thrown. Mm. <clears throat> so, what is this that we just smelled? Those That's are spicy. the seeds inside. Ooh, I just bit into it. Uh -huh, that is the berry. <laughs> Those seeds are inside. Oh, They're dried very good. quick. <laughs> There's no nothing to show off. Are you ready to try some fresh, fresh pepper? pepper? Yes. So this is the same that turns into black pepper, right? So this is what mm. the black pepper comes I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what they're... Okay, we'll find out in a minute. Anyways, let's, uh, let's... I'm gonna pop the whole thing in. Ooh! Hoop. No worries. It almost tastes like cardamom. Bon mm. appetit. Mm. Too spicy for you? I put it on the tip of my tongue, so that's more sensitive. Very isolated. As I said earlier, it's very similar to the cardamom. Mm -hmm. So, where did but the pepper spicier. come from? Right? Yes. <laughs> We're gonna go home with such fresh breath. Yeah. <laughs> I feel it like in my nose. Mm. All cleared up. Black pepper yeah. comes from green pepper. So just to clarify, yes. Those green peppercorns are the same as the regular black pepper and pepper, and pepper that we use on a daily basis. And then the white ones. What did you say about the white ones? It's a different breed. It's, yes, and it's instead of being a green fruit, it's when it matures, it's a red fruit. So, so far, what have we tried? So we've had the cacao, kind of like vanilla, and I mean, we haven't actually tried it in food yet. We've tried pepper. The pepper, the... Not, it's not cinnamon. What is it called? One more layer of the Salem. Cake. Well, that was like the Salem cinnamon. cinnamon. It's oh, okay. like one of the types of cinnamons. Mm -hmm. The more high-end one, yeah. which is the only one they grow here, actually. Uh, what oh, else? Cardamom <laughs> and what was the last one that we tried? What are we smelling? Just go back. I just remember the pepper. Yeah. <laughs> We'll get back to you guys on that one. <laughs> Got some more leaves coming just, up here. Just by deduction, just by deduction, get the oils uh, running. Is that a different type of cinnamon? Well, it couldn't be because so guys, this is all spice leaves, but all, all spice. spice. Is not the spice. I never quite understood oh. what allspice was How does exactly. It look like? yeah, I mean, it looks is it like the spice that tastes like all the spice? I guess. So if you guys it know, around, yeah. it around, leave it in the comments. Let's go to the name all spice. Smells pretty good though. <laughs> They are the cutest ones. Okay, so there's a pond right behind us, as you can see, a pond. The birds are just going wild. There's squirrel monkeys right above us. What a nice place to be. It's so relaxing. As Sarah was saying, this is like, 
an ASMR festival. Like yeah. you just, it's just so nice. I'm like seeing birds flying around that I've never even seen before. And monkeys are jumping into the jungle yeah. leaves all around us. The monkeys, the birds, the lake. It just, oh look, there's a little duck inside of the lake. It's, Where? Oh, it's so nice. Uh, all right, we have officially oh. lost the group. <laughs> After a morning walk through the spice farm, it was time to put these flavors to the test. And now we get to check out a little menu here of all of this lovely stuff that we're going to be tasting today. Sounds amazing. Yeah, I'm excited. So Chris just told us that the majority of this is the farm. Like all the way to that dark cloud is the farm. That's a lot of property. A lot of spices. Alright guys, so we've got round one. We've got some golden milk, which is turmeric with a milk. And we also have a curry masala biscuit. I don't even know where to start. Is it good? You liked it? Yes, I love it. Oh, that's really good. Mmm. Mmm. It's very light in flavor, but it's good. Ooh, super yummy. This is the chai tea that they made. And then we have vanilla bean ice cream. And an oatmeal cacao nib cookie. Let me see if I can actually get it out here for you guys. Look at that delight. Let's go in. Mmm, crispy. It's mm. Is the chai tea good? Oh, the chai tea is delicious. Oh, yeah, so good. Oh, wow. Ooh. Such a treat. You know, we should do this. Yes. <laughs> We'd like to invite us on a tour. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's like just the right amount of sweet. Mm. They're quite crunchy. Yeah. It's perfect for the vanilla ice cream. So we're trying the hot chocolate, the traditional drink of the gods hot chocolate and we're dripping something in here cheers mm. and we also have a little bit of flourless chocolate cake here mm -hmm. sorry <laughs> just knocking over sarah's chocolate here mm. it's like fudge I would book this tour just to try all these. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a fine dining meal. <laughs> this is so good. I am so full. We have to walk all the way back now to the entrance. <laughs> no, but I think it should be quick. There might be a faster yeah. way. We don't know yet. Anyways, guys, we're gonna finish this vlog now. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. And uh, don't forget to check out Sarah from Mama Antonio Adventures. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. We will be hiking outwards now. Ciao! Bye. <laughs>